yeah, the floor is open. Thanks for now. Um, hi, Ivan. Um, good to see you again. Um, the lines might be crossed somewhere, but um, I thought you were leaving the Bulls at the end of June. Um, and you, yeah, you still are, which is great. Um, have, have things changed at all with Saracens, or are you sticking around for the for the game against the British and Irish Lions? Is that is that what's happening? Yeah, that that's correct. Yeah, so um, very fortunate to have gotten the opportunity um, to to still play this game. So yes, my my contract did end uh, on the thirtieth of June, um, but uh, so some sort of arrangement has been made between Saracens and the Bulls to make it possible for me to to play this game which is which is very nice from both sides you know from the from the bulls and and saracens to make this this happen so thankful for that and getting the opportunity to play against against the lions which is obviously a once in a lifetime opportunity as it only comes around every 12 years so um so yeah after that the, after that I'll, i will be leaving um but yeah so very thankful to to get the opportunity to play this coming weekend Hi, Ivan uh, Simon here by Rugby 15. Um, hoe gaan dit met jullie voorbereiding? Dit is natuurlijk een goed idee te recht, sê, een groot gerend, dit een keer in 12 jaar. Hoe gaan dit met die voorbereiding? En uh, wat het jullie geleer, bijvoorbeeld uit die eerste wedstrijd tussen die uh, um, Lions, die Emirates Lions en die um, British and Irish Lions, is daar iets wat jullie daar gesien het? En selfs so'n wiekie verder terug, um, die British and Irish Lions die in Japan, is daar Dinge wat jylle daar gesien het waarop jylle kan kapitaliseer en jylle kan voorberei? Ja, ek denk voorbereiding gaan goed. Op die stadium, ons het, ons het na laas, laasweekse game natuurlijk die nie, die nie Cheetahs afgestel was. Uh, met ons so, so dag of wat extra gekry, so ons is so klein bykie voor met ons voorberei, voorbereiding wat, wat goed er tyd is wat, wat ons aanvankelijk gedink het ons gaan hee wat krijt is, waarvoor ons dankbaar is. Um, Ja, kijk, hulle is, hulle is obviously, hulle is, is, is klomp in nationale spelers, en hulle gaan net elke wedstrijd beter word, soos wat hulle meer begin saam speel, en meer saam oefen. So, ek denk, een ding wat, wat allemaal van ons besef is, die een groot verskil, tussen, natuurlijk, tussen toets rugby, en, en om net provinciale rugby te speel, is, is, is um, die fysische aspect van die game. En ek denk, dit is iets wat ons definitief, uh, hulle sal moet kan, kan match en ons sal die definitief wedstrijd moet bring vir ons om enigszins een geleentheid te staan om, om hulle onder druk te sit en, en die wedstrijd te wens. So ons besef dit, dit gaan een groot deel wees. Dan hulle speel, ek dink die manier hoe hulle hulle span gekies het en die type spelers wat hulle, wat hulle in hulle hele groep het, uh, maak het ook duidelijk dat hulle een bykie vinnager wil speel. Ek dink vooral, um, soos wat hulle nou obviesie voorberei vir die, vir die toetsreeks tegen die bokke, um, ek dink hulle wil die bal bykie meer rondskuif en baie gefokus wees om met die vinnager te speel en in die pakke rond te skuif, so ek dink hulle, hulle soek daar intensiteit, so ons gaan, ons gaan dit moet match, maar daar is natuurlijk elke liewe span, as al oorlog is al, ek dink ons besef Danel, ons het jylle verloor, as jy my kan hoor. Ah, uh, ja, ek is die so, ek kyk kappa by... Ek gaan om net kappa een likeie gee aan. Dankie. Ivan, daar is jy terug. Hoi, Ivan, jy is terug. Jammer, ons het jy... Kan jy hulle my hoor? <laughs> yes, ons hoor jou, ons hoor jou. Ivan, um, wil jy nie nie die laatste stikkie specifiek oor die fysische aspect en dan die uh, lijn en bal en die hanteringspoed, die balspoed wat, wat uh, jy oor gepraat het, uh, oor gesels nie, want ek het met Cash van Rooyen uh, na die wedstrijd ook by die Lions specifiek die twee punte aangeraak. Asjeblief, as jy dit nie kan aanraak, dankie man. Ja, 100%. Nee, soos, ek, soos wat ek nou net genoem het, ek dink die groot verskil tussen provinciale rugby en toets, toetslag rugby is die fysische gedeelte van die wedstrijd. En um, ook die manier hoe hulle hulle span en hulle groep aan mekaar gesit het, dink ek hulle gaan die bal bykie meer wil rondskuif uh, vir voorbereiding 
tegen die bokke, ek denk hulle gaan van die bokke se pak dalk wil, wil meer rond beweeg, as jy kyk na die, die type los voorspelers, en, en Watson, en, en Hy Simmons, en goed wat hulle gekies het, en wat in hulle groepe is, so, ek denk, dit is iets wat ons gaan moet, moet match, of is die intensiteit, en hoe vinnig hulle die bal gaan wil rond beweeg, maar dan, grotendeels vir ons, om enigszins voor en toe te wil gaan, en, en wil geleentede kry, gaan jy hulle visies moet aanvat, en jy gaan visies hulle moet match, anders, anders gaan die geleentede eenvoudig nie oopmaak nie, um, want enige, enige span op, op, op toetsvlak, en op, natuurlijk is allemaal van hulle internationale spelers, um, hulle is goed afgerig, hulle weet precies, hulle gloon hulle systeme, en hulle systeme werk, so as jy nie deerlig gaan, gaan hulle visies gaan aanvat nie, gaan dit nie net, gaan nie net gebeur nie, so, so ja, ek denk dit is, dit is wat een ding wat, wat ons besef, wanneer ons kyk na die wedstrijd is, ons gaan visies moet wees, ons gaan met regheid wees, en dan sal ons met hard werk, vir die geleentheer om te kom, en dan, as daar een of twee geleentheer kom, moet jy die seker maak, jy gebruik dit. Hi Ivan, it's, it's uh, Morgan from the Star. Um, just to continue on in that vein, how how do you combat a game plan like that? Uh, uh, do you is it strictly territorial or um, do you up the kicking game, um, especially with that line speed that the, uh, the British and Irish, uh, Irish Lions have? How are you going to combat that specific game plan that you just pointed out? I think you need you need to have a complete game. Um... I think you 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 can't simply expect to run everything, um, but you can't overkick. Uh, obviously, if you if you're just kicking and giving the ball giving the ball to them, they they good enough to 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 punish you on that as well. So I think it's all going to be all are going to be about balance and and making the right decisions at the right time. When to kick, when not to kick. When the opportunity is on to run, you need to take it. Um, but when when there's nothing on and you and you can find kick space, you need to take that as well. So it's gonna. You will need to have a complete performance and you will need to, to make the right decisions at the right time. Um, and then, like I said, obviously, they have a massive high speed on, on the outsides and, and getting up. And especially when you go into a wider wider edge, um, they try and, you know, gang tackle you basically and keep you up, um, which we, we will need to we will need to adapt to. And uh, we obviously have some plans where we can act upon that but um ultimately you will need to you'll need to have everything everything in your game will need to be sorted and and be close to perfect for that game you will need to have a good kicking game a good running game and like i mentioned before you you physically you'll need to be up for the battle both on defense and and attack for you to stand a chance any more questions gentlemen Everybody? Yeah, th thanks, uh, Danelle. Um, if I'm obviously playing against the Lions is a massive thing in itself, but for you, is there a, a bit of a bigger picture? You've obviously been in really good form um, this season. Um, Springboks, um, you know, scrum off is a, a specialist position, so you might just be one injury away um, from getting back into the into the national squad. I, I don't know if you were part of the alignment camps or whether there's been any communication, but but is that still... Also, back of your mind, if you play really well against the Lions, um, the Springboks have to take notice as well. Um, look, look, obviously, uh, I think personally, you just want to play play well against them. I think whenever you get the opportunity to play against the best in the world, that's that's where you want to play and that's where you want to function and that's the games you want to play well in. Um, um, not really thinking about the Springboks, obviously, they've got their plans and, and they already have their nines and their group of nines. So that's not something I want to do, but, but I mean, for a more personal thing is you want to measure yourself against the best in the world and, and see if you can, you know, if you can perform when playing against them. And, and that's exactly what this weekend is. It's an opportunity for us to play against the best in the world. And, and uh, hopefully, you know, all the right people will see that. And if you can perform, it's, it's more, um, you know, confidence you will gain in yourself and and what you can do in your game when when playing against an international international team and against international players. So obviously the Springboks uh, will always be a dream and and it's it's ultimate for for any South African and for all of us that's a dream and that's where we want to play. Um, but ultimately, just want to perform and and make sure that we give our, give ourselves the best possible chance to, to beat the Lions over the weekend and that means we will all need to be um, at the top of our game. Last question from my kant of Ivan. Um, it's a foregone conclusion as you um, have a of operation gehad het on your knees that you would not have said or you would have been as you didn't think that you 
uh, beskikbaar sal wees vir die spanning. Is daar nie toch in jou achterkop een bykie twyfel of jy gedachtig daaran dat hierdie uh, een stap hoer is visies en uh, vinniger wedstrijde is, dat uh, jy visies in staat is uh, om, om jou spel te kan lever wat jy behoor te kan lever nie, of is jy heeltemal 100% vol selfvertrouwe dat jy heeltemal recht sal wees om typisch eindelijk een internationale game te speel? Nee, ek geloof daarom, ek denk die, die, die ding wat het lekker maak is, dat ons daarom al so drie wedstrijde gespeel het, en, en drie of vier vol, vol weke, en, en al so gehad het, waarvoor ek baie dankbaar is, as jy vir my moest gesê het, ek moest my eerste wedstrijd terug, na my knieg gespeel het in die leeuws, dan so ek bekommerd gewees het, maar um, my knieg het net elke, elke week en elke dag sterker en beter geword, en, en fix het gewaas ook, en al die dinge so, so fysies is daar, is daar niks wat, wat van ons stel is om, om my terug te hou of te, te verhoed om te doen wat ek moet doen oor die naweek nie. Ja, alles gaan vinniger en, en fysieser wees en, en als, maar dis waarvoor, dis waarvoor ons hierdie game speel is vir geleentheer en oomlik is soos hierdie naweek om jezelf te meet tegen die beste in die wereld en um, ja, ek is opgewonnen daarvoor, my lyf is reg en, en my knieg en, en alles is reg om, om dit te kan doen. So so, dat is daarom nie in my, in my kop enige, enige twyfel as dit kom by in my knieg of visies of ek dit sal kan, kan hand af nie. Hey, any last questions? Thank you very much. Dank u, Ivan. Thanks, Ivan. Good luck, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.